Hi everyone. We are going to prepare a Christmas pudding. Its name is custard crib pudding. We'll have four layers in the pudding. Now we'll look on to the ingredients to be used. We'll require any wine, uh, preferably grape wine. It's about 150 ml of grape wine. We need around 250 ml of milk, 2 tablespoons of custard powder, enough of water to soak the custard powder. 70 g of sugar, one bowl of cut fruits, tin fruits. You can also go for fresh fruits, but in case you need to keep the uh, pudding for long longer time, you can go for tin fruits. We need one sheet gelatin which is 5 g and we need 100 g of whipping cream or double cream. We need normal arrowroot or marigold biscuits, maybe a five or number 5 6 numbers. Finally we need few dried cherries and cinnamon powder for decoration. So the first layer of the pudding will be that is a down part of the pudding will be a wine jelly. So we're going to use our 150 ml of the grape wine and gelatin to make the jelly of the wine. So you can take a small saucepan pour your wine into the saucepan. Start simmering. While the wine is simmering, we can soak the gelatin in the water for around one minute. Keep stirring the wine. Do not overboil the wine. It should be uh, approximately a simmering consistency. Now, once the gelatin has been soaked in water, pour off the excess water and then add into your wine mixture. Mix in thoroughly. so the gelatin completely melts into our wine mixture when the gelatin is completely melted into the mixture you'll obtain a pale grape uh, grape wine colored mixture now the first layer is ready so we have to pour into our prepared mold and set in for refrigeration for maybe around uh, 10 15 minutes So this is the first layer of the pudding that is a wine jelly so we have poured in the gelatin and grape wine mixture into the prepared cup now we'll be keeping it for refrigeration for 15 to 20 minutes so we have taken out the first layer of our pudding it's a set jelly of wine you can see a pale grape wine color so once the jelly has been set we can place our next layer which is a biscuit layer so preferably make it into halves you can place it directly on top of the jelly around 2 to 3 biscuits can go inside one cup one similar cup so uh, next layer will be preparing our fruit custard layer which will be forming the third layer of our dry fruit pudding so we'll be first simmering our milk that is 250 ml of milk start simmering your milk Gradually, you can add in uh, sugar into the milk mixture. Keep stirring so that the sugar completely melts into the milk. While the sugar melts into the milk mixture, we can prepare a solution out of custard powder and water. So this is two tablespoons of custard powder. We'll be adding in one and a half tablespoon of water into the powder. Mix it with a spoon to get a smooth. yellow mixture out of the powder and water now once the sugar has melted into the milk we can add in the custard powder mixture gradually add in while you stir the mixture so we have obtained a fair enough thick mixture of the custard powder and milk similar to this So in case if you need thicker mixture you can refrigerate the uh, custard powder and milk mixture for around 1 hour. Now we'll be adding our cut fruits into the custard mixture and give a good mix. So this will be used as the third layer in our pudding. So pour on top of the biscuit layer, second biscuit layer which we have already prepared. we have a wine jelly base a biscuit layer and a custard trifle 
through trifle layer which forms the three layers of our pudding now we'll be finally doing our final layer there is a fourth layer of the pudding it's a whipped cream mixture so we'll require a hand hand blender to whip up the cream this is 100 ml of whipping cream which we are going to beat with our hand blender so you you need to whip up your whipping cream until you obtain a stiff peak like this so now we have whipped up our whipping cream so we'll be pouring this whipping cream the stiff peak whipping cream into our piping bag i've used a small uh, piping bag which is fitted with a normal nozzle in case you don't want to use this whipping cream mixture or nozzles you can go for a topping of ice cream a scoop of ice cream will serve the same purpose so we'll be piping out the whipping cream on top of the custard fruit custard layer to form the fourth final layer of our pudding so this is our final layer of the pudding now we'll be garnishing with our dried cherries and cinnamon powder so cinnamon powder adds a flavor of christmas eve the red color of the cherries further adds in the feel of christmas for your pudding so now we have done our christmas trifle pudding so it's a custard crepe pudding with a wine based jelly a biscuit layer in between a fruit custard and the final layer is a whipped cream frosting with which is topped with cherries and cinnamon powder